Lisbon's Tool is a uh, high precision, tight tolerance medical uh, plastic mold making facility. Our, our mission is creating a self-sustaining uh, business model that focuses on improving the quality of life uh, of all individuals that touch and have uh, association with West Mistletoe, not just employees, but customers, community, everybody. Um, and uh, in that mission is to help people realize and reach their greatest potential. So our West Mr. Tool brand is mostly focused on our culture and our people. It's what makes us unique, it's what makes us stand out. Um, and through our people and our culture, we've been able to kind of establish a brand as unique problem solvers. So we take people's challenges and we put it through our culture and we're able to deliver a solution that exceeds their expectations. We have around 30 employees with an average age of 35. Um, we're a dynamic group from all different backgrounds. Uh, when we won the lead time leader in 2014, we were more concept and, and theory and we were in the infancy stages of our change. We did not spend any money on technology. We decided that uh, to uh, invest all of our profits in uh, infrastructure to promote um, individual acceptance and opportunity within West Mistletoe. Our throughput per person, which is what we use to gauge ourselves against our, our competition, um, uh, kind of plateaued and we saw minim we were starting to see minimal results. That told me, or us, um, that we probably had as much as we could do with the overhead structure that we have for the human capital piece. So it was time to now add technology to those amazing human beings that are now uh, seeking those opportunities on the floor. In 2020, we added a continuous five axis high speed, which we did not have at a time, which adds our capabilities to have a new workflow. We also added two more high speed machines in order to, one, increase our training opportunities, and two, we are prepping again for the future. We bought these machines with an idea of adding automation to not just our high speed center, but also adding for graphite in our hard milling to prep us for the future to continue towards our goal of increasing our throughput per person. These machines help improve Westminster Tool in multiple ways. Adding a five axis allows us to bring on more complex jobs in a whole different marketplace. We're also able to have better skill development by freeing up machines for increasing our talent and getting new people running these machines. As well, it gives us opportunities for operational excellence. Some of these machines we bought are able to reduce our scrap rate and reduce our lead time, which not only helps us get more work through, but also makes our customers happy. So these machine purchases fix an immediate need of ours, which is increasing the amount of hard milling we can offer here at Westminster Tool. But looking for the future, all of these machines are prepped to develop an automation cell to increase it even more in the future. So as we are expanding our skill sets within our team, we are prepping to be able to change the alignment in our work cells in the hard milling department to increase automation and add more robotics and more industry 4.0 to our workplace. So in 2017, we started exploring additive technology. Um, we worked with pretty much every supplier and new technology as they came out, just kind of exploring the capabilities we knew it was going to take a little while for additive to catch up to what we need, but we wanted to stay kind of at the forefront of knowing what's coming out and how we could apply it. One of the technologies that we were exposed to in about 2018, 2019 was, was Mantle. It was a startup company at the time, and we've been able to work with them throughout the last two, three years on developing their True Shape technology. It's a really exciting kind of advancement in the additive marketplace and because of that we've chosen to partner with them, help them develop their research and create this true shape technology and likewise build a business case on how we're going to integrate this into Westminster Tools future. So that, that's really where the plan kind of took shape as far as where we've invested. That those investments first came obviously like with any other company, it starts with your biggest bottleneck and where you see their biggest growth. So we, we did expand quite a bit from an equipment standpoint uh, over the last year. Uh, there's only so many lean principles you can put in place before you have to automate. So our value power position is your challenge is unique, so is our solution. What does that mean? We have customers that come to us all the time with unique, complicated challenges that sometimes they don't even know what they are they're even aware of. So what our goal is, is to provide a solution to them that not only meets it, but actually exceeds their expectations. 
So some of the strategies we have in place for our uh, customer value proposition is first is identifying my customer's unique challenge, and that's right up front in the quoting phase. We do a deep dive in the quoting phase where we are trying to find success, to find the scope, and mitigate any risk right up front, even before design while quoting. So we have a very in-depth DFM phase where we do a full MoFlow analysis. We do uh, we line up our quality control plans. We do ri uh, risk mitigation. We do uh, dimensional risk analysis and everything like that where we're able to define success up front instead of in the back end where in the back end if we find those risks back there then what comes to play is you add more time and more cost to our uh, customer. So what we determined was in order to be a solution provider you need many many things and the most important ingredient is people that think uh, similarly. Subsequently, this is where uh, we came up with the type of core values that a, somebody would uh, possess um, in order to be a solution provider. We're looking for people who are independently motivated, um, they're dynamic, they are the gatekeepers of their own success. We also are looking for people who value being curious, people who can are, have the emotional intelligence to put their judgment away and stay curious and have a commitment to learning. It's also really important that when somebody joins our team, one of you know our recruiting strategies is we want to communicate to people that they are in control of their own success. We can give them the tools to reach their greatest potential. Some of the goals we had is we wanted to look at our training and see where can we be more efficient, where can we train and get people onboarded more quickly, um, and finally, how can we make this training more an, of an integral part of somebody's day-to-day -day job, make it a dominant part of their work here. I think in the industry, we want to demonstrate ourselves as thought leaders. Um, we definitely are different than our competition. Not many other tool builders have the unique culture and people-centric business model that we have. So it's really important that marketing helps bring that to life so that people can see how different and unique we are and how we approach business, um, not just in the world, but in the industry in particular. So it's creating a content strategy that brings our brand to the market. It's choosing the right avenues, choosing the right audience who we're trying to target. Um, and it's kind of bringing this whole plan together versus just throwing things out and seeing what sticks. What does Westminster look like tomorrow? Uh, we look like whatever our customer base has a need for. Right now that uh, we see the trend and we see shortcomings in the industry, uh, specifically in 3D uh, printing and then post uh, value added services. Uh, we're being asked by our customer base to do more, provide more, be better, and be cheaper. It's easy to win when you know exactly what's wrong, right? When you know exactly what has to be done, I mean, it's a slam dunk. Um, we feel that we have a pretty good connection with the customer base that appreciates our value to identify the challenge so that the solution part of it really is in those technologies. The, the value uh, of winning the Lead Time Leader Award is uh, what's most important to, ev to what we provide, opportunity. Uh, this is going to provide more opportunities for us. It's going to continue to get the word out as to what our business model looks like. That, that's a given. We, we've been covered quite a bit with that. Um, but it's going to create more opportunities for my workforce to provide more of what we do. 